let's see what is new in this order from Spain, Spanish supermarkets. Good morning world! Today is different, yeah, I start the day from the bicycle and it's pretty cold this morning, so that's why I'm wearing a jacket. What is gonna be different today? Well, first of all, I'm going to do a blood test. Yes, that's something that I, it, it's been in my to-do list for a while, <laughs> I would say for some years, and finally today I decided to go for it. So. I'm now heading to the place to do the blood test and hopefully there's gonna, not going to be a lot of queue and I will be able to do my blood test. Then I have something else to do. I have to go and give the papers for the wedding, for the official wedding, the like you know, the, the legal wedding. So I have to go to some place like the registry and give some papers. That's also something that I had in my to-do list for a while so yeah that's gonna be my morning the first part of the morning at least so let's go i'm almost almost arriving to the blood test plate please So let's hope there's no a lot of queue. There's hopefully nobody, but I guess that's not gonna be the case. Let's see. Oh, there's a lot of people. You seen I enter inside there's a lot of people I got the number B 92 and they are in B65 so I have to wait I don't know but a lot I'm gonna probably go somewhere actually I have to make a couple of copies of uh, of my ID for and the, the ID of Andrea because we need them for as I said the wedding papers so I'm gonna try to search if there is something here, where can I, when I can make a copy? So, no copy services around this area. Well, that sucks. They have to wait a couple of minutes more and I'll be ready to get in. Right guys, I'm now done with the blood the, with the blood tests and I'm heading now to get another B sing because I'll be going to do the paperwork of the wedding. Yeah. I'm gonna be going down down to the Barcelona Beach side, yeah, down this way. I'm gonna be going down there till I reach the beach because the official registry is there. It's located near the beach. So let's take a bike and let's go there. You certainly need a lot of paraphernalia in your tray. <laughs> yeah, symbols, gym, mango, tambourine. Uh, what are these things? Uh, all these? 
Right, so here I am now. I left the Vising, and as I said, now I'm in like the um, seaside, or like the how do you say? Uh, I forgot the word. Where the ships go? I don't know. I don't remember now. My bad English. Look at there. This is this area over here. Here we have the sea. But I'm not going there. I'm going over there. Oh, look. The Real Club Deportivo Español bus. But there's no players. So let's get going. It's just tourists. I wonder why they use this bus for moving tourists around. I don't know. It's like the official football um, team bus, but it's full of tourists instead. Strange, no? Okay, so here is where I'm going. Right guys, I'm down now. I can't believe I've been here for an hour just for uh, five minutes work, paperwork. But I guess that's how things work, how the paperwork work. <laughs> okay, so now it's time to... Yes, I need to bring something. I need to go where Andrea is, so at work, at her work. I need to pick up something that I need to bring then later to somewhere else, so... A busy morning. Let's take again another bike. This time I'm gonna get it from here. I can't believe I'm just arriving at home now. I left this morning at 8, I think it was, or 8.30, and now it's almost 12 o'clock and I haven't arrived at home yet. What a morning. And I couldn't record the last part where I was with a lot of stuff in my bike because I don't, honestly, I don't know how other people from that do daily vlogs die do it that do it but i cannot manage to drive my bike grab the camera point the camera carry on the stuff that i need to bring it's impossible honestly it's totally impossible so i don't know how they do it okay guys i'm now at home oh what an exhausting morning I'm gonna cook something and then I'm gonna I'm gonna do some work because so far I haven't worked at all. <sighs> 
Okay guys, time to eat something and I was thinking that I'm gonna show you something which can be pretty nice if you've never heard of it. I'm gonna show you some sweets from Spain uh, because I have some that I bought the other day and I, I thought it would be nice to share it with you. So these are sweets that are typically uh, consumed by child, so by children and it's not like typical Spanish sweets or something like that but it's like the typical sweets that people, well like childs when they are out of school they go, they buy some and they eat I don't know if they are everywhere in the world because honestly when I travel I don't check if this is everywhere or not because as I said this is more for like ch uh, children but yeah, they are sold here in Spain and here we have one, let me get out of the camera, I have here one that tastes like a banana, here one like a watermelon, I have here some of them, some sweets, they are basically poor sugar, not something I would eat usually but from time to time you know I like to remember my uh, time back when I was at school and I like and I enjoy eating these things, so Yes, this, this can be both in Spain. I don't know outside of Spain, but it can be both here. Mmm, delicious. Okay, I'm gonna do a quick um, pause and then I'm gonna work a little bit more. Alright guys, I made an order online in a new website that I discovered. It's called elcomprador.cat from Catalonia Domain. I got several bags here and I'm gonna show it to you guys because I've seen several comments of people that you like seeing what you can get in Spain. So I'm gonna try to show you some of the stuff, not the repeated one from the other video. So let's see what is new in this order from Spain, Spanish supermarkets. Here we have turkey breasts, pesto sauce. Here I have something which is amazing. This is baked cheese. Salmon, salmon, parmigiano as they say in Italy. We have a lot of cheese here in Spain, look, more cheese. Yeah, got more cheese, this is goat cheese, very good goat cheese. Tortilla de patatas, we also got tea, red tea, this is green tea. This here is tajin, yeah, if you don't know what is tajin, it's uh, um, like a cream made of sesame. Sesame it's called, I think so, anyway, it's very good. And we use it here, well not in Spain, but we use it here at home to make hummus because we love hummus and we love garlic and almonds. Yes, I love it so far. It's very, very good service so far. So we are going to repeat for sure. It's called elcomprador.cat, but it's only in Catalonia. I think that's gonna be the end of today's vlog. Yeah, because it's almost 8. Andrea is going to come her home soon, I hope. And we're gonna just enjoy a nice and relaxing dinner and prepare for tomorrow. So, guys, share this video. If you like it, hit the thumbs up button down below. And don't forget to subscribe if you are not one of my subscribers. See you tomorrow! Bye guys!